Okay, so these are the grapes that I pulled off the stem. I've got a little bit of distilled water in there. I'm going to fill this up. Heat them up for about 20 minutes. Bring them to a bowl, about on medium heat. That's pretty good. That'll help break down the cell walls. And I've got a five gallon bucket here and another five gallon bucket down there that I've still got to process and turn into juice. And then once I have it into juice, I can make it into jelly, into wine. Gives me a lot of options. Okay, so boiled down the grapes and you can see it turned a lot darker. So it's instead of brown, it's purple. And I took it out and I've strained it out, strained out the seeds and the pulp. So now I've just got the juice. I'm gonna use some of this to make jelly and some of it to make wine. Sanitize the pail. We put distilled water in. We put six pints of distilled water. We dissolve two pounds of sugar. We put one and a half teaspoon of pectin enzyme. That's important for these wild grapes because they have a high amount of pectin and that's good for making jellies and jams, but you don't want it in wine making. So we're putting that enzyme in there to get rid of the pectin. And then we're doing one teaspoon of yeast nutrient. And then we're gonna put the Camden tablet in there for clarity for the wine. And we'll put the wine yeast in tomorrow. So we're gonna let this all set for 24 hours and then we'll put in the, the wine yeast tomorrow. And to make the wine yeast, I've taken some of the Mustang grapes, I put them in a quart container and put a little distilled water in there and shook them up so that's going to be our natural yeast. And I've got other videos that show how to do that where I've used raisins, but this time I used uh, the, the Mustang grapes. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and pour in the grape juice. So this is grape juice already canned from the Mustang grapes. So I already processed that. And this is going to be about 12 cups. So you may see recipes that call for pounds of grapes. So for a seedless grape, it'll normally generate two and a half cups for one pound. These have a lot of seeds in them because they're Mustang grapes. So for the seeded grapes, the ones that have seeds in them, you'll generate about two cups per pound. So a little bit less. All right, one thing I failed to talk about is I used canned Mustang grape juice. So during the canning process, I boiled it and killed off all the natural yeast. So that way, if I ever wanted to use the store-bought yeast with what I canned, I wouldn't have a problem. Now I am using the natural yeast from the Mustang grapes. That's why I fermented them here, but I have like seven gallons of this stuff canned. And so if I want to use it and use a store-bought yeast, I already know all the natural yeast has been killed off from this. Plus, you also need to reduce the acidity in the Mustang grapes. And I did that by diluting it with the distilled water. That's why we used six pints. That's a lot of water. I didn't do that in the canning process because I didn't want to dilute it in case I wanted to make jams, or actually jellies, since that's juice. In case I wanted to make a jelly out of it, it's not diluted. I wanted that strong, concentrated juice for jellies. But I don't for the wine because I don't want it to interfere, that acidity to interfere with the yeast. So I diluted it with six pints of distilled water. Let's see if I can get it in there. There we go, good. So that's in that nylon straining bag. Tie that off at the top. It's been 24 hours since I put all the other ingredients in there. Stir that up a little bit. I get the sugars from the bottom if they settled from yesterday. And I'll stir this once a day for about three to five days. It just depends on the temperature inside your house. The warmer it is, the faster the yeast will grow, the faster it will ferment. The cooler it is in your house, the slower. So somewhere about three to five days before I take it and go to secondary fermentation. So I'm going to cover that up, but I'm not sealing it. 
and I'm just going to cover that back up with a towel.